When working with passive income websites, we need to write a lot of content. The more content you put up on your sites, the more chances that you will have more page views and visitors on your sites. Take a look at this graph here from Moss. The longer articles tend to rank a lot better. And this is not necessarily because longer is better, but if you want to write a really good article, it just always ends up being longer because it takes more words to cover something in depth. So let's talk about how you can write faster and better content. The first thing you need to do is to edit as you go. You should try to get the article 95% there the first time you're writing it. So make sure to go in and break up the paragraphs and add some bolded sentences. By doing that, you can really reduce the amount of time you need to spend editing the piece afterward. Make sure you only have to go back to this content piece once in order to hit publish. Let me show you how I do that inside WordPress here. I always type directly into WordPress and so do all my writers, simply because I don't want to spend time formatting things after it's been pasted into WordPress. So as you see here, I break up the formatting so it's not walls of text. I also insert internal links whenever possible. And I'm using this extension here called Grammarly. It's a free extension. You can also pay for an upgrade if you want to do that but it will check all your spelling and how you construct your sentences as you are writing. And that's just a super helpful partner to have by your side as you keep writing. It works like a Chrome extension to the browser that you just install. And now every time you type in some text, whether it's in WordPress or somewhere else in your email program or whatever, it will check your spelling and your grammar as you write. It can also do other things that's really cool if you're working with a team of writers. If you outsource your content, you want to make sure that all your content is 100% unique. And Grammarly can also check that for you to make sure that the writers didn't copy the text from somewhere else. So the second tip I have for you is a little out of the ordinary. Let's take a look at my setup here. This is the setup I use for writing. And as you can see here, I have a vertical screen. So by having this format on my screen, I can see most of the article as I'm writing it. And it's just so much easier to write the content when you can see most of the article as you're writing it. It's easier to cut and paste and see exactly where this paragraph should be put. Let me show you how to set this up on your computer. I'm using a Mac computer here and you need to go into system preferences, click displays. And now you will have a little window here showing the settings for each monitor you have connected to your computer. So this one up here is the laptop itself. And over here, I have my center monitor. As you can see here, I set the rotation to 90 degrees. So 90 degrees or 270 degrees, depending on which way you tilt the monitor. And that's the only thing you need to do. You don't need to buy a specific monitor to do this. All monitors can do it because it's software that controls this. And I'm sure you can do this on a PC as well. Let me also explain how I've set up my monitors and why I have three of them. So in the center, as I told you, I'm writing my blog post. And at the big monitor to the right, I'm doing all my research. And here I also have a little document open to take any notes. If there's anything that pops into my brain, maybe I come up with other blog topics as I'm writing. And on my laptop monitor to the left, I work with images. The next tip I have for you is to add some nice music in your headphones as you are writing. And to some people, this will just be distracting. And to other people, it will work like magic. I prefer to use mellow, non-vocal music without too much of a beat and I'll typically find a track that I really like and I'll just press repeat and I'll listen to this track over and over and over again and after I've been writing for 30 minutes it becomes almost like this meditative process for me. So experiment with this and find a good playlist that works well with your brain and how you are wired. Add those songs as you find them out there on YouTube or wherever you are listening to music. The next tip I have for you is to try out and get familiar with the dictation feature that we find on Macs and PCs. I'll show you here how to find this feature on a Mac. So by speaking out the content instead of typing it, you can typically speed up your writing a lot. But in order to get this to work, you need a good microphone. I'm using this one. I'll put a link in the description. It's called Samson and it costs around 50 bucks. 
It comes with this little table stand here that enables you to put it on the table and you can connect it with a USB and it works with Mac and PC of course. So you keep it close to your mouth and you make sure to always have the same distance and the same angle because the software inside your computer will over time learn how you pronounce things but it's important to use the same microphone every time and have consistency about the distance and the angles and these things. And of course you need a silent room to do this. You cannot do this in an open office space. But if you're working from home this is just perfect because you can close your door, turn on the mic and test this out. And the next tip also works really well if you do an outsourcing but you don't have to outsource to use this tip. It's about using templates. Many times when I'm planning out the content for a new site I will have a batch of articles that are of the same type. Maybe it's a lot of articles that are all answering questions. Maybe it's list posts or reviews. So after you've written the first piece within this batch of articles, you can turn this article into a template and you can either give this to your outsourced writers or you can use it yourself so you have something to start off by when you're writing the next article within this batch. The next tip I have for you is a quick one. It's about loosen up the language. I want you to imagine that you're talking to a good friend or a neighbor when you're writing the article. Don't make the language too formal or too cryptic to read. Don't try to sound too clever. Just give it a good natural flow like if you're talking. And this will also work really well if you want to use the dictation stuff that I talked about before. If you just speak it out it'll just come more natural and it'll also be easier for the readers to read it. And there's also the risk that if you keep it too formal in the tone of voice you might lose some of the readers simply because they might not understand the technical terms you're using. So make it very very easy to understand so everybody can read your content. The next tip is to use a timer and sometimes by doing that we can help ourselves to not procrastinate and get distracted as we work. To some people this will be super intimidating to have this timer ticking right next to you. But if you're like me, you like the gaming and the competition aspect of this and you will probably try to beat your time the next time you're writing an article. But it's not only the writing part of things that takes a lot of time. The whole creative aspect of coming up with topics, the brainstorming things and how to plan out good content also takes a lot of time. And that's why I'm using the Workflowy app that I showed you before. I also have a good checklist that I go through before I hit publish. And by knowing that I checked all these little boxes, it makes me more confident that I can hit publish now and I can move on to the next article. The next tip is to do an outline of the whole article before you start writing. Make sure to nail all the subheadings because by doing so you will know exactly where to put each piece of information that comes up during your research. And as you're researching you should create the subheadings because they will typically match a question you find that people ask about this topic and then you can put all the information you find there as you're doing your research. And now as you start writing you just need to turn all these notes into a little paragraph and it's just a lot easier when you know what each section of the article is about before you even start writing. I want to show you a tool that I'm using all the time for a ton of different things and it's also a great tool to use when you're doing an outline for an article whether you're writing the article yourself or if you're doing the outline for one of your writers. It's called workflowy.com like this. And it's a really cool tool that would help you structure your thoughts and all your thinking around a topic. So let's say you were writing an article about the best SUVs under 50,000. Now you'll be able to do a lot of bullet points here. So let's say these were some of the subheadings. Now if you want to show here what you would put below this first subheading you can Put some text here and here and here and you can do the same thing again and what you can do now is to open and close these. So this is great because you can quickly jump between the different section of the article just by clicking here I'll jump into this one and up, up here you can see it works sort of like breadcrumbs on a website. You can go back here and you can also open by clicking this little arrow here. Now you will still see the whole thing but if you just wanted to dig into this one headline here, just click this little circle and you will only see this headline. I'm using this for brainstorming and I'm using this for daily tasks. I'm also using it to structure all the content around my videos for this YouTube channel. 
I don't know if I can do a really good job of showing you just how powerful and extremely simple this tool is, but if you try and work with it, you will love it, I think. At least if your mind works like mine. And this is also exactly what I give to my writers when I'm outsourcing my content. I give them the headline and the outline with all the subheaders. And sometimes there will be a little link or some information that I want them to put in each section. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this tips. I have a lot more coming up for you. And give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. See you next time.